Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica Jane. I was just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, Hey, Jessica, what are some ways women test masculine men? Well, if so, I'm glad you asked because I have done several videos on women testing men, but this idea of masculine men, I thought it was a really good way to show you guys how we women actually test how masculine or alpha you truly are. And to make sure you never miss out on another opportunity to hear these little ways we women are trying to pull one over on you or another one of my videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button with the notification bell. Okay, so I have this one client who I would call super masculine, very alpha, and he came into my program thinking that, oh, I just can't find any women who can handle how alpha I am. But as you probably know by now, the issue is never women can't handle how fucking alpha or amazing you are. It's you failing to connect, you failing to be who you truly are past the things that make you alpha and getting to know who she truly is past all her shit or lack thereof. And sure enough, he's no longer dating sugar babies. He's dating high quality, high caliber women because we did fine tune how he was bringing about his super amazing alphaness to the table when it came to really looking for his match. And if you know you wanna get eyes on your interactions with women to see how you are truly communicating in ways that may or may not be showing who you truly are to actually attract women you want, not the type of girl that has how you are showing yourself attracts. Does that make sense? JessicaJDating.com slash book. Let's talk about making it happen for you. Okay, so I talked about this concept of testing your masculinity, so to speak. And what can I say? We women were notorious for this. Don't be a shit talker. Again, just because you don't speak the language doesn't mean you blame people who speak the language for not understanding you when you're not speaking the language. But I'll tell you right now, after this video, if you are a guy who's got his shit together, you consider yourself a really masculine man, a guy who's really got it going on, but you're not getting women you want, and you might be getting like stage five clingers or super broken bitches, you'll probably understand why after these three things. So the first one, the first way we women test masculine men is seeing how far we could take it. Maybe you're a guy who pays for us for the first two to three dates. Maybe you're Mr. Fix-It with everything constantly going out of your way. Oh no, I got this. Oh no, I got this. Oh no, I got this. All the live long day. So women will see. Well, okay, if he wants to pay for everything every time, let me let him. Okay, if he wants to do everything for me all the time, let me let him. If we are getting away with not having to do anything in return, then we will fucking do it, guys. Any of us would. Imagine if you got paid no matter what, whether or not you went into work. They said, hey, we're gonna pay you Monday through Friday, no matter what, you don't even have to show up. You're like, that's bizarre, I'm a good person, I'm gonna show up. Maybe show up the first Monday through Friday, the second Monday through Friday, then the third set of Monday through Friday. You're feeling a little ill in the belly. So you're like, you know what, I'm gonna take two days off, same amount of money. You're like, you know what, next week I'm gonna take three days off, same amount of money. You know what, let me see if they mean this. I'm gonna take the full fucking week off, same amount of money. Tell me right now if you would ever go back into work. If you knew you would get paid no matter what. Exactly. If we are reinforced for bad behavior, any of us, if we are positively reinforced for bad behavior, bad behavior will ensue. That's just how our brains work. And we're not necessarily seeing it as bad behavior because to us, we're being positively reinforced. So if you, Mr. Alpha Male, constantly pay no matter what and have never asked her or your captain save a hoe, you're always there to save her even though she's never been there for you. Again, we women, we will test. We will say, well, let me see if I could get away with it. All you have to do is push the check over to her and be like, this was on you, right? That's it. If some guy did that to me, I'd be like, okay, I got you. Again, don't be upset with being treated how you tell people to treat you. It's up to you guys. You give us the blueprint on how to treat you. The second one's a little interesting and most guys don't necessarily pick up on it. And it's something I only see my clients do, but I'm not privy to it when I'm in conversation with other people. Most people don't even fucking notice it. Most men don't even notice it, but it's us dropping hints about who we are. So if you're a guy who, you know, has a lot going for him, got a lot of great shit going on. In fact, I'm gonna go back to my client. Really awesome guy, had so much great shit going on for him and wasn't actively trying to get to know these women. He was genuinely like, I'm an awesome guy. I've got all these cars. I've got all these homes. I've got all these things. What do you bring to the table? And women would be like, oh my God, wow. Hair sounds awesome. Let me hear more about it. And he'd be like, okay, cool. Let's talk more about me. But us women, we will see. If you give a shit about us, we'll drop little hints. Like, oh yeah, you know, my niece and my nephew are like my world to me. But what about you? Do you have any nieces or nephews? 
does. If you take the bait and you say, yeah, let me answer your question because now we're talking about me. If you don't turn around and be like, wait, they're your world to you, please tell me more about them. <sighs> Any guy who catches these emotion packed pieces that we women will offer just a little bit to see if you fucking care. Any guy who catches those things, that's a man who passes that test. Again, we women, we get intimidated by you guys. We get nervous. We get, oh my God. I'll tell you right now, I have plenty of clients that make my girls nervous, but my clients don't realize it. They don't realize that the women already have them on a pedestal and it's up to them to bring themselves back down. And it doesn't even mean having a nice car, having a lot of money, having a great job. You can convey that with your attitude. Again, so we women, we will offer little pieces to see if you would care. A lot of women aren't that forthcoming with men who aren't asking us. You'd be surprised how many women think they shouldn't offer up any information about themselves unless asked. I'll tell you right now, it might be like 80% of my girls that I have on my staff as practice girls. And I, I'm telling you right now, like all of them are extroverted, but 80% of them feel like they shouldn't talk about themselves unless a man asks. Because if a man doesn't ask, he probably doesn't care. So don't fall for that trap. And the third one is us following your lead. So I was on a date once with a guy, God help me, talking on and on and on and on about himself. And I was like, okay, this guy wants to talk about himself. Let me just keep talking about him then. He hasn't asked me anything once. Anything I have interjected with about myself, he's brushed right over. Nothing. Had no care in the world. And then an hour into the date, mind you, we had to wait to get seated and then we had to wait for our food. I never would have waited this long if I wasn't this hungry. However, an hour into the date, he finally goes, well, you know what? Tell me about you. I've been talking about myself. How come you're not telling me anything about yourself? And my response was, well, you haven't asked. And his response was, well, you know, I just, I've got so much going on in my life right now. And like, you know, you seemed really interested. I like a girl who's interested. You know, I, I've dealt with so many women in my life who only like want me for my things, but like you genuinely seem interested. It just, I've never felt so connected before. And I'm sitting there like, dude, I'm just following your lead. We women, we follow your lead, always. I don't know why we just fucking do it. I would like to find studies on women just naturally following the man's lead, but whatever. I can only surmise that it's an evolutionary thing where y'all had the spears and we had the babies and you walked in front of us. I don't know, we trusted you. So yeah, for all you alpha, super masculine men, we will follow your lead. And if we see you leading us to nowhere, sure, we'll test it out. We'll see if you see how nowhere we get to. I don't even know if that makes sense. But I'll tell you right now, I'll go on dates with these hyper masculine men and I will let them lead us nowhere. And then they're like, I don't get it. I thought we had such a great connection. I talked the whole time about myself. You asked me questions. And I'll just be like, yo, bro, I just followed your lead and that led to nowhere. Not my fault, yours. I'm not gonna sit there and try to create a connection with somebody who doesn't have the wherewithal to be genuinely curious about me. Or if you are not moving things forward, fine. Lead us into the friend zone. We women, we love making friends. I thought I just made a new male friend the other day. I was like, oh my God, I didn't know I could make new male friends. This is great. Turns out he was jerking off to my videos. That's creepy. So if you don't move things forward, fine. We're not gonna be the ones to do it. Maybe you do just wanna be friends. We don't wanna presume. We'll just go right there with you. So if you know you're in a position where you're not truly creating connections, you're not feeling that genuine connection, you're not feeling that chemistry with women, despite being a really fucking awesome guy, having your life together, having your shit together. Or if you know you're not moving things forward in ways where you are getting women excited to be there with you, excited to jump into bed with you, or you don't feel confident enough to do so, book a call with me now, jessicajdating.com. You and I will sit down and we will do a deep dive into what you've got going on and what you need to do instead and whether or not we're a good fit for making that happen for you. Because again, we will follow your lead as a man, no matter what. And if you lead us into constantly getting free meals or constantly into the friend zone, your wish is our command, huh? And if you know you want to lead her into a different direction, into your arms, into your bed, into your heart, let's talk about making it happen. Thanks for watching as always, guys, and I'll see you next time.